It's fortunate I could make it. My divination results predicted you making a fool of yourself. The show is about to start. Make sure you remember these words. You wouldn't want to tarnish the Sien Zhou's reputation now, would you? N no, Master Diviner. After me. Fulgrant Leap. Fulgrant Leap. Epical Spectrum. Epical Spectrum. Orum Alley's Hustle and Bustle. Orum Alley's Hustle and Bustle. The Swarm Disaster. The Swarm Disaster. Nice. Audience. Coming. Audience. Live stream Not bad. Time. Make sure you recite them a few more times. Master Diviner. Sushan is like a teacher. What is it now? Teaching Sushang. How do you say this one? <sighs> High Cloud Quintet. Here comes the uh, trailer. We honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skips and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. I must attend to some Cloud Night matters. Farewell for now. <laughs> All things in this world have their laws. Whoa. Nice. You know that I'm a descendant of hey, the Lord Fu Jiajia. You witnessed my secret strength, as March would call it. This character is gonna be sick. As you can see, we added a few things to this simulated universe. Stephen Lloyd thinks this is a big achievement. I love the music. We call it Simulated Universe. New enemies? The swarm disaster. In this year? New character. Looks like. Nice. Oh, boat. Your world has a day-night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and <laughs> you know the rest. Welcome to the version 1.3 Celestial Eyes Above Mortal Ruins special program. As always, your good buddy Albert's here to bring you all the latest intel on the upcoming version. Today, our three special guests are... Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah Wiedenheft, and I voice Fu Xuan. What's up, guys? I'm Anjali Kunipanani, and I voice Sushong. Oh. Hey, Trailblazers. I'm Nicholas Leung, and I voice Dan Hong. Oh, welcome, welcome, and welcome again. <laughs> I gotta say, that trailer was loaded with details on the new version. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> anything stand out for you? Well, I'm always gameplay. excited for story updates, for but that last segment caught my eye, too. The swarm disaster? Was that it? It looked pretty intense. I know. Did Herta upgrade the simulated universe again? You know, my trailblazer senses are tingling. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> the simulated universe will be getting some significant updates in version 1.3. That's, That's cool. for later in the program. First, 
Let's take a look at the new characters joining the war. Yes, yes, show us. First on the show list. Us. And finally revealing his true power. We have Don Hung and Bibiter Lune. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. He's in bust face. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So March wasn't bluffing. Don Hong does have secret strength. But why I'm would he him. suddenly reveal it after hiding it for so him. long? Uh, let's not forget he did get impaled. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if he'd kept it under wraps any longer, he might have had trouble uh, staying alive. <laughs> you know, desperate times, desperate measures. Okay, it makes sense, but why the secrecy up till then? Well, to answer that question, we gotta talk about Don Hung's previous incarnation, Don Fung, a member of the High Cloud Quintet. Oh. That's right. I'm sure Trailblazers will have noticed that certain characters in the story have been referring to Don Hung as Imbibitor Lune. But Imbibitor Lune is actually a title handed down as part of the Law Fu Vidyadara High Elder Succession. The person they're referring to here isn't Dan Hung, but Dan Fang. Dan, Dan Fang was once the Law Fu Vidyadara High Elder. His he achieved ancestors. great deeds for the Xianzhou in wartime, but ultimately committed an unforgivable sin. Hmm? Wait, but if Dan Hung's still alive, then Dan Fang's sin can't have been that unforgivable, right? Mm, I think someone pulled a few strings. <laughs> There's only one guy in the law of food who risked the Xianzhou's reputation like that. Xing Yuan. Mm. Is that what a little bird told you, Albert? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never knew owls were so gossipy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jing Yuan's not to blame this time. The head of the Xianzhou Vidyadara, the High Elder, possesses the power to transform into a dragon. The method of entrusting this power to the next head is a closely guarded secret and the responsibility of each High Elder. We don't know the full story, but Dan Feng misused this method and sparked a terrible calamity. As a result, the Vidyadara grew to hate Dan Feng, but executing him would have brought an end to the High Elder succession. They decided to use an exuviation charm, forcing him to reincarnate. Which is why Dan Hung is alive and well today. Oh, the world of the Vidyadara is complicated. But why would Don Fong cause so much trouble? I suspect there are a few more secrets waiting for us down the line. Uh, oh, yes, show us. We are no more secrets. Come on, show us. <laughs> but fear not, Trailblazers. Reveal. Reveal a us. banquet of delicious secrets awaits you. Uh, now, let's take a look at how secret yes. strength Don Hung show handles us, himself on the show battlefield. Us. <laughs> As an imaginary type character following the path of destruction, Don Hung and Bibiter Lunay's specialty is consuming multiple skill points to trigger an array of powerful abilities. Tapping the skill button enhances the effects of Imbibitor Lunay's basic attack, Beneficent Lotus, up to three times in succession. Mm -hmm. Depending on the number of enhancements, Beneficent Lotus becomes Transcendent, Divine Spear, and Fulgurant Leap, respectively. Hits per action and damage dealt increase with each enhancement. Additionally, single mm -hmm. target damage is replaced with multiple target damage in both Divine Spear and Fulgurant Leap. In Imbiber Lunay's talent, Righteous Heart amplifies the damage he deals as the number of hits per action in the current turn increases. Sounds like skill point management is going to be pretty important for Imbiber Lunay's allies. Oh, oh, yes. Hold that thought. When using his ultimate, Imbibitor Lune deals imaginary damage to a single target and adjacent enemies, while also receiving a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. Squama Sacrosancta can be used to offset Imbibitor Lune's skill point consumption. Man, Secret Strength Don Hung is kind of a one-man band. Oh, that's not all. <laughs> Imbibitor Lune's technique, Heaven Quelling Prisma Draken, allows him to enter a leaping dragon state for a set time. In this state, using an attack causes Imbibitor Lune to lunge forwards a set distance and strike all enemies he comes into contact with. Cool. Entering battle in this way allows Imbibitor Lune to acquire a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. And lo, 
Such is the frightful power of the High Elder. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've introduced secret strength, Don Hung, let's move on to an old friend of ours, the Master Diviner, Lady Fushuen. Fushuen. I'm gonna pull her on my Asia account. Which one? Mono Quantum. Ooh, she's so pretty, huh? Ah, oh, that's a nice move she does, like this. <laughs> her moves, I like her moves. <laughs> Her first encounter with the Trailblazers was pretty impressive. From high above, amid a hail of bullets, came the words... Your every move has been foreseen. By the Omnisia. <laughs> 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 okay, you gotta admit, her bullet deflection game is on point. I, don't... I wonder, how'd she fare against ooh, a star knot, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't see her swatting one of those out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Fu Xuan might have something to say about that. Oh, okay. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the Earth and water trigrams. What do we have to fear? Let us counter this menace directly with the might of the Sienjo. Uh -huh. Oh, Sisheng translation. Hexagram says let's do this. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I think the Divination Commission would benefit from having Sisheng as a translator. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Omnisia on Fu Xuan's forehead is a mysterious instrument that allows her to calculate her every move in advance. However, the immortal bodies of the Sien Zhou natives exhibit adverse reactions to external augmentation. Hmm. While the Omnisia may grant her incredible computational abilities, it also causes her pain and exhaustion. Uh, well, with hmm. great power... Uh... You know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> that explains Fu Xuan's reliance on bubble tea then, huh? I heard she drinks like 10 cups of Immortals Delight a day. Uh, oh, no. Hey, that sounds like gossip to me. What if Immortals Delight is just heckin' delicious? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it is. Though I'm sure the sugar helps. Running the Divination Commission and divining the fortunes of the Sien Zhou, it's an exhausting gig. All right, Anjali's right. No more bubble tea gossip. By way of apology, how about I treat everyone to 10 cups of Omoto's Delight after the show? <gasps> yes! <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Let's talk about bubble tea later. It's time to take a look at how the Master Diviner showcases her abilities on the battlefield. Fu Xuan is a quantum type character following the path of preservation. But where other Path of Preservation characters mainly use shields for defense, Fu Xuan takes a different road. Precisely. After using her skill, Fu Xuan activates the Matrix of Prescience, which lasts for a set number of turns. This allows Fu Xuan to absorb some of that damage for her allies. Oh, damage reduction? When the Matrix of Prescience is active, it grants the knowledge effect to the entire team, increasing characters' max HP and crit rate. Fu oh, talent trick. offers a variety of effects. That's good. Firstly, Fu Xuan can provide a permanent misfortune avoidance state, reducing the damage taken by the entire team. Secondly, when Fu Xuan's HP drops below a set percentage, she recovers a set percentage of HP. POV, you're Fu Xuan's enemy. Why are my attacks healing her? <laughs> <laughs> That's not all. Fu Xuan's ultimate deals quantum damage to all enemies, but it also increases the frequency of her talent's HP restoration effect. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, Fu Xuan's technique can grant a barrier for the whole team that lasts for a set duration. During exploration, the barrier blocks all oh, enemy nice. attacks, thereby That's preventing battles that would otherwise have triggered in this way. Her, Her technique really also cool. activates the Matrix of Prescience automatically at the start of the next battle. That's our Master Diviner. Reliable and determined. <laughs> no wonder she's got her sights set on the generalship. See, her style is very different to Jing Yuan's. But being a defensive backbone for her team is equally respectable. <clears throat> and you won't find her gardening or playing chess on the job either. Oh, <laughs> I didn't say that. We're moving swiftly on to our final character. It's time we introduced a young girl from Bellaba, Lynx Landau. Lynx the Lynx. <gasps> Candy? 
healer. Looks like an healer. Is her name ring a bell? <laughs> you got it. She's the younger sister of Serval and Japard Landau. You know, oh, is it just me, or should sister. everyone in the overworld be taking tips from Lynx? She's the only person I've seen who's dressed for the eternal <laughs> freeze. Like, are the majority of Bellabagians frost resistant or something? <laughs> <laughs> I think those Geomarrow heaters keep the temperature relatively comfortable within the confines of the city. Oh, so Lynx's winter gear is for venturing outside the city, right? Mm -hmm. mm, you got it. Mm. Lynx has always been drawn to the horizon. The centuries-old records of Yurilo Six's vibrant past, the beautiful auroras described by her teachers, the heroic tales of the Landau family. <laughs> All of it pertains to the world beyond the city walls, what the Bellabagians call the Snow Plains. Compared with her sister's enthusiasm and her brother's seriousness, Lynx is somewhat introverted and comfortable with solitude. She often ventures out alone into the perilous snow plains, which has allowed her to hone her wilderness survival skills. Ooh, she's gonna be the world's smallest survival expert. I know. Oh, she's what I <laughs> now she may be small, but she packs a punch. Let's <laughs> dive right in and see just how powerful this snow plains explorer really is. <laughs> yeah, Lynx is a quantum type character following the path of abundance, who provides a variety of healing for her team. Her skill can restore HP to a single ally and grant them survival response for a set does. number of turns, boosting I their max HP. Than, uh, if an ally with survival response follows the paths of destruction or preservation, the likelihood of them being targeted by enemy attacks increases. Ah, increased enemy aggression? Guess they're not fans of whatever's in that tin. <laughs> uh, uh, can't say that I blame them. <laughs> my, 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 that looks like fermented heron? Ooh, it's my favorite. You guys want to try some? Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm good. No. <clears throat> uh, can you forget about the contents of the tin? This is a useful ability. I'll say this. Directing enemy aggression towards characters who can take a hit is kind of genius. <laughs> Does she have any edible tricks up her sleeve? Mm, uh, this one looks safe for consumption. Lynx's ultimate restores health to and dispels one debuff from each ally. <laughs> that thing's huge! <laughs> Are you I know. You know. Talk about a hard pill to swallow, huh? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Uh -huh. Sarah? Sarah? No? Uh -huh. See, I'm okay. just wondering how she even fits it in her backpack. <sighs> Sometimes big things come in small packages. You know, I forgot to mention Lynx's talent. It can grant a continuous healing effect to targets of her skill and ultimate for a set number of turns. This effect will further restore a set amount of HP to characters with survival response. Similarly, her technique can also grant a continuous healing effect for a set number of turns, but to the entire team. Talk about being a reliable healer. <laughs> That's our little snow plains explorer. Abandoned we can all breathe a little easier they're on the team. Well, that concludes our new character introductions. Next up, let's take a look at the brand new five-star light cones coming to the warp in version 1.3. To get us started, how about a path of destruction light cone hmm. brighter than the sun? Yeah. Uh, is there anything brighter than the sun? Uh, if there <laughs> is, we should tell Imbibitor Lune about it. Someone needs some vitamin D. Hey, oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> He's looking pretty good for a man suspended in chains. Fair point. Now, on to her path of preservation light Ooh, cone. Look at that light. <sighs> Poor girl. Everything changed in an instant. Thrown suddenly into an endless reliance on bubble tea. Oh, uh, speaking of bubble tea, this light cone, sir. <laughs> Albert, uh, any chance Arca, we can really uh, fast track that offer? <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Aww. Now, during the first phase of version 1.3 oh. in the character war, Epical Spectrum, Trailblazers can obtain the limited five star oh. character Don Hung and Bibiter Lune. And in the corresponding light cone event warp, the drop rate of the five star light cone brighter than the That's sun will be so boosted. Lune is coming in During the face. second phase of version 1.3, second in the character phase? warp, foreseen, foreknown, foretold, 
Troll Bages can obtain the limited five star character for hey, Schwinn. Not yep. to mention the four star Look character. Look at the links. four star characters. Oh, so we can join in the warp. And links. During the and, corresponding uh, light cone event warp, yep. the drop rate of the five star Oof. light cone, she already shut her eyes, will be boosted. <laughs> links broken as <laughs> And yeah, that's all she wrote. Better than the uh, light show, cones man. and warps. Mm. But don't leave just that now. More exciting updates are right around the corner. Ne uh, second port. Welcome back, dear viewers. Let's pick up where we left off. In the preceding story, and thanks to the collaborative efforts uh, of King Stabilizer Wu and Hung, Fantilia was banished and the Ambrosial Arbor crisis was resolved. And yet, as the dust settles, easing the fears of the citizenry becomes a new priority. Rightly so. Helping people get back to their old lives is a big part of rebuilding. And more often than not, responding to a disaster is trickier than preventing one. Mm-hmm. In version 1.3, the Trailblaze mission Obsequies performed, a long road ahead, will reveal a glimpse of the Xianzhou's recovery efforts. We'll also be seeing the likes of four new companion missions. New companion the missions? Dragon Returns Home, Total Recall. Farther than the Snow Plains Lune, and Mohashle. In the Dragon nice. Returns Home, and we Luka. find Dan Hung in the let's turbulent go, wake go. of the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. He must Companion face up to his past life and meet with the current Vidyadara High Elder, Lady Bai Lu. Each gives you Meanwhile, in Total Legit. Recall, March 7th makes a big decision. Having witnessed the wonders of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, really she decides to ask Fu Xuan for the Matrix's companion. help in rediscovering her past. Farther than the Good Snow job. Plains focuses on the youngest member of the Landau family. Lynx returns from an expedition with something troubling her, and her siblings, Serval and Jepard, are at a loss to help. Luca they decide to seek the assistance of Lynx. none other than Lune? the Trailblazer. And last but Where's not least, Fushun? Companion Mishun. We should get Fushun, Wildfire right? member and Fight Club we'll reigning champion show. Luca has returned to Boulder Town. He wastes no time in inviting the Trailblazer and Zila to help him in completing a special bout of training. Ooh, a nice cinematic read there, Albert. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> oh, those names are so intriguing. I feel like these missions will answer a lot of questions. Like, why is Bailu the current Vidyadra High Elder? And is March 7th truly as many people suspect? <laughs> this is hardly the domain of unverified rumors. Oz is a serious program. Serious? <laughs> More like Bubble Tea Gossip Central. Uh, oh, speaking of bubble tea, yeah. Uh, uh, <sighs> fine, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> In our next segment, we'll be talking version 1.3 of this. Exalting Sanctum's Arm Alley was once a hub of commerce and crowds, but has Lost gradually Legends. fallen New into maps. obscurity New over maps. the last millennium. A blink of an eye for a long life species. New maps. And nice, now, nice. as the IPC's corporate interference encroaches upon the Lao Fu, the people sense danger and are striving to breathe new life into old trades. In the Orem Alley's hustle and bustle event, trailblazers are thrown right into the action with an opportunity to influence the Alley's ultimate fate. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what do we need to do exactly? Well, shops of numerous sizes can be found in the newly reopened Aram Alley District. 
By arranging cargo shipments and planning logistics routes, trailblazers can accumulate funds. These funds can be used to progressively revamp the urban landscape of Aram Alley, helping it return to its former glory. Mm. By achieving goals in this limited time event, players can earn self-modeling resin, tracks of destiny, stellar jade, and four-star character Sushan. Nice. Following this limited time event, Oramali will remain in the game as a permanent mode. Ooh, nice. This mode includes rewards such as the Oramali themed phone wallpaper oh, and Genium hits. Dreams. What? That's something we haven't seen before? <laughs> that's right. Phone wallpapers are a new feature being added to version 1.3. Trailblazers can browse nice. and replace their wallpapers like using this. the in-game mobile menu. Very good feature. So pretty. <laughs> Isn't it? All right, folks. It's time to talk about a big update to the simulated universe. Ah, uh, finally. I thought for a Let's moment go. he might have accidentally left it out. <laughs> The cheek! How could I, your humble living servant, make you wait? <laughs> I mean, we're still waiting on those bubble teas, so I'm just saying. <laughs> in any case, the update is the collaborative effort of four genius minds. They call it Simulated Universe The Swarm Disaster. They completed a broad spectrum of disaster. structural renovations purely to investigate the fall Huge of the coming to simulated the swarm disaster. It sounds like it might have something to do with the. Uh, mm, what is that eon's name again? Tazy something? Tazeroth. The eon of propagation. Ah, that's the one. Interesting. What motivated Herta and her team to research the Imperator Insectorum? Ooh, I'll tell you. <laughs> From the story so far, we've heard that the propagation once caused a major swarm which spread throughout the universe. This eventually caught the attention of multiple eons who united to eradicate it. This event involved more eons than any other recorded event in history, which of course makes it an excellent research subject. Hmm, so that's how it is. Mm-hmm. In order to delve into this complicated history, Herda and her team have developed various new methods of exploration. In Simulated Universe, The Swarm Disaster, the stage maps will appear in a format similar to a chessboard. Trailblazers will need to navigate through randomly generated domains and tackle a variety of challenges before making it to the deepest parts of the simulation. I'm assuming these geniuses had more in mind than simply maneuvering around a grid. Right you are! <laughs> in order to simulate the experiences of different path striders and resonate with the eons, oh, a brilliant mind pops. named Steven developed the audience die and community device. Looks like device. an objective we have oh, to Oh, audience complete. die? Oh, come on, Albert. Jits. That's not a nice thing to say to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Die in singular like. for dice. Okay. Uh -huh. It has to do with the eons bestowing random gifts upon path striders. Before progressing each turn, use the commuting device to roll the audience die. This will generate special effects for the current turn. These special effects well, might provide our nice team effect. with powerful buffs or like alter the like chessboard in some way, or even create further variables for subsequent actions. The chessboard and grids are superficial. The true intent of the geniuses is to delve into the mysteries of the eons. Each exploration will encompass three planes corresponding to Imperator and Sectorum's emergence, expansion, and demise. Trailblazers will encounter simulated historical events during these phases, and different responses will lead to different outcomes. But do these simulations really recreate the truth? The official response is that due to the many historical unknowns, all potential outcomes are valuable. The data helps us infer the most probable truth. And the unofficial response? Mm, Madam Herda said, and I quote, You can't prove that the past wasn't like this, can you? <laughs> <laughs> How exceptional. <laughs> Undeniably a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Herda has also developed a, a path a space to, uh, for the express purpose of like... enhancing the resonance between trailblazers and their paths. As a trailblazer, every action you take that aligns with your path during exploration can help you to obtain path energy, leading you closer to the eons. Hmm. 
Hmm. And what can we expect when we get closer to the eons? Now, once you have sufficient path energy, you'll be able to unlock specific buffs and the chance to interact directly with the corresponding eon, <laughs> thereby uncovering their part in the swarm disaster. That's no stuck in New York. Hmm. Okay, so we've been hearing those words a lot, but none of this feels swarmish or disastery enough to me. Mm, say no more. <laughs> in New the enemy? final domain of the third plane of each exploration, like trailblazers will encounter a brand new enemy. The Swarm True Sting. <laughs> true Stings have the ability to divide and that create like more vicious, swarms. Uh, if not dealt with promptly, vicious, the entire uh, battlefield uh, will Beatles. eventually be overrun by the Swarm. Sufficiently swarming? Oh. Suitably disaster -y? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, that's plenty. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. That was <laughs> <Yeah>. disgusting. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> upon clearing simulated universe, the swarm disaster, the brand new path of propagation will be propagation. unlocked in the simulated universe. Hey, what a roller coaster. That's a big update, all right. And big updates need big rewards. Yeah, yeah. Take note. Aside from Stellar Jade and numerous other materials, the Swarm Disaster rewards include two self-modeling oh, resins. Wow. Oh, Those things are rarer than rare. Are there really two up for grabs? Mm, you better believe it. And I highly We're encourage Trailblazers to give it a go. Next up is the Space Station Task Force event. Revitalizing the Space Station is no small undertaking. If we want to speed things up, we'll need to enlist the help of a task force with special permissions. Watson has lined up all the assignments that require attention. Over to you, Trailblazers. <laughs> During the event, by assembling a team that meets the requirements of specific assignments, you'll be able to earn rewards such as Stellar Jade and character experience materials. <laughs> and as the message makes clear, there will be requests and assignments every day. It's almost impossible to finish them all. Version 1.3 will also see the return of the Planar Fisher and Garden of Plenty events. <laughs> During the respective events, successfully challenging the simulated universe and calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. <laughs> At the same time, version 1.3 will unlock two new stagnant shadow stages, Shape of Puppetry and Shape of Abomination. The former will drop Suppressing Edict, Ascension material required for Don Hung and Bibiter Lune. The latter will drop Nail of the Ape, Ascension material required for Fu Xuan. Whoa, all New that ascension too? materials for Whoa, and I'm not done with you yet. Version 1.3 system updates are just as momentous. First off, after the version 1.3 update, the Trailblaze power cap will be raised from 180 to 240. Whoa, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> exactly the amount that regenerates in a day. So far in the Once Trailblaze power maxes out, a percentage of the surplus is converted into in reserve Trailblaze power. Ah, so in other words, if you forget to log on, power. you won't have wasted much Trailblaze power. Mm, and here's something else. The 1.3 update will also bring changes to the friends and chat systems, which include being able to sort your friends. And trailblazers not currently accepting new friend requests can choose to disable them in settings. Eyes it on the cake, you can now send emojis in chats. Oh, oh nice. at last, bring on the pom pom and March 7th emojis. New emojis yeah. in the chat. <laughs> nice, nice, fingers crossed for some authentic like boomer tension. material. <laughs> 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 and of course, we have the crowd favorite, Gift of Odyssey Chicken Rewards. Logging in for seven days Let's gets go. you 10 warps. It might just be your lucky break. Nicholas, I admire your confidence. And free bonus. <laughs> 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 last but not least, Honkai Star Rail will also be a part of this Game year's Scott. Gamescom. <laughs> what? what surprising updates await us? Watch this space trailblazers. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. Let's roll out today's final redemption code. All right, final redemption code. Nice.
<sighs> All good things must come to an end. And so must today's special program. <laughs> We've covered quite a bit about the 1.3 update. Any thoughts or feelings from our guests? What are you most looking forward to? Man, so much to choose from, but for me, it's gotta be the characters. <laughs> Don Hung and Bybitter Lune, Fu Xuan, and Lynx are all special in their own way. I just hope I get lucky with the warps. <laughs> <laughs> and as for me, I'm super excited about the simulated universe update. The new gameplay and story aspects sound brilliant. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, since you guys covered the obvious, I'll go for something a little different. Mm -hmm. I feel like this version's quality of life enhancements are really good. I love the Trailblaze power cap increase and the new reserve Trailblaze power feature. Uh, they may sound minor, but I think they'll make a big difference to the experience. Oh, <laughs> totally. And I'm sure the gaming experience will keep improving as the updates keep rolling. <laughs> well, that's it for the Honkai Star Rail version 1.3 special program. <laughs> as always, Thanks again to all you trailblazers for tuning in. And may our paths cross again soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Catch you later. <laughs> See you next time. Uh, bubble team, bubble team. Bubble oh, team. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That's the end of the live stream. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.